field is out and parading for race number five. Another race for two-year-old fillies. Illinois conceived and fold, and here they are. One is Etta Carane, owned by Harold Glasgow, Vise Moline, Ron Van der Rosten, the trainer and driver. Two, She Never Looks Back, owned by Steve Newcomb and Terry Duffy of Chicago, Tex Mode Strange, Nick Guyberson in the bike. Three, Nuclear Mouse, owned by Carol Reynolds of Springfield, Irvin Miller Trains, Andy Miller up. Four, Am Alive, owned by Ron and Carol Cox of Huntsville. Ron Cox Trains, Matt Cox gets the call. Five Indigo Lady, owned by Leo Edwards of Decatur. Leo Edwards, the trainer with Rick Schrock. And number five, number six, Bo Princess Die, owned by Lyle Lacey, Exeter, Missouri. Ray Hanna trains Dave McGee, driving Bo They're Princess Die. They're the gate rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing between Philly's Nuclear Mouse. First away on the outside, rushing goes Bo, Princess Die. That pair, one, two, as they drive toward the turn. Third on the inside, she never looks back. Getting out four is Indigo Lady. Dropped in five, Am Alive. And at the back of the field, Etta Carane as they swing around the turn, headed now toward the quarter mile mark. And from the outside, Bo, Princess Die bowls her way to the front. She'll lead for McGee by a length and a half as they approach the uh, quarter mile mark. She never looks back, settled along the rail third. Nuclear Mouse is second. They have just reached the quarter. That station in 28-2, racing now off the turn down the backstretch and leading the way by a length and a half as they straighten that way. Bo Princess Die stalking the leader. Second is Nuclear Mouse on the inside, maintaining third. She never looks back. Four to the outside, racing down the backside is Indigo Lady. Racing five, Am Alive and Etta Carane at the back. Field approaching the half. Being led still by Boo Princess Die. The incredible finale filly has led all the way off the half, and 58 still does, as she leads them now past the draw gate. And on the inside, racing second as they reach that marker, the draw gate. Second still, as they head into the turn, is Nuclear Mouse on the outside. Indigo Lady keeps easing up, was third. Now she's second by a head. Behind her, racing four, ready to tip to the outside, Am Alive. Five as she never looks back. Racing six at a Carane. Field approaching three quarters midway through the upper turn. And racing with the lead. As they reach that marker will be Bo Princess Die. They've just passed three quarters. 128 1. They're at the top of the stretch. Final quarter mile. And now they'll turn for home, led by Bo Princess Die. Nuclear Mouse behind her is anxious as they're in the lane. From way back comes she never looks back. Ranging up now fourth. Still third on the inside, Indigo Lady. And strengthening her lead as they race down the lane is Bo Princess Die, drawing away by four. Unable to keep up is Nuclear Mouse. She's second. They race to the wire. Late rushing at a Carane is now third. It's going to be Bo Princess Die. Home second unofficially was Nuclear Mouse, finishing third at a Carane. Four, Indigo Lady. Five appeared to be Am Alive. Then she never looks back. 157-2. 157-2. For trainer Ray Hanna and his wife Donna. And this one is Lyle Lacey's Bo Princess Die Dave McGee. Moving now into the winner's circle is that winning two-year-old incredible finale filly from Ariel Bow by Oil Strike. Bred, <coughs> bred by Bill Huggins of Walcottville, Indiana by Mike Bowen. Also of Indiana. Joined now in the winner's circle by owner Lyle Lacey of Exeter, Missouri. Lyle, an auctioneer in Missouri. Very involved in the sport of harness racing.